Hi everyone, The Simple Dad here. So your Galaxy isn't just a phone, it's a playground of hidden features waiting to be unlocked. So today I'm showing you 7 insanely useful One UI 7.0 tricks on your Galaxy S25 Ultra. And yes, you can try them on other Galaxy phones too. So we're talking about smoother performance, cleaner looks and smarter shortcuts. Basically giving your phone a personality upgrade. So before we jump in, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button and share this with your Galaxy friends so that they can level up their Galaxy devices too. All right, let's begin. So the first feature is your extra dim feature. So have you ever felt your screen is too bright even at the lowest setting? That's where extra dim comes in. So for example, you're watching your phone in the middle of the night and you're basically going through TikTok or Reels and then basically you've noticed that that glare from the screen is just too much and it's basically hurting your eyes. So here with extra dim, you can basically drop the brightness below the normal limit. So it's perfect for those late night scrolling without frying your eyeballs. So let me show you how to use it. So here we'll go ahead and open up the quick panel menu, tab on settings, scroll down and find accessibility. Now next tap on visibility or vision enhancements. And now scroll down and find extra dim. So if you tap on this, you can go ahead and turn this feature on. So as you've noticed, when I turn this on, you can see that the screen brightness has gone slightly down. And this basically is more comforting for your eyes. Let's go ahead and set a shortcut as well. So you can go ahead and choose all of these shortcuts. So here you can go ahead and tap button in the quick panel setting menu to do that. Or you can go ahead and set an accessibility button, extra dim, or you can press a side and volume up button, or you can go ahead and press and hold volume up and down button for three seconds. So we'll just go ahead and leave it as tap button in quick panel menu. So here we'll go ahead and get an option for extra dim. So with the extra dim, basically you have eye comfort in pitch black environment, and it's a little more like a battery saver at the same time. Your second feature is the motion smoothness feature. So do you want buttery animation or longer battery life? Motion smoothness lets you switch between adaptive 120 Hertz and standard 60 Hertz. So adaptive is ultra smooth for gaming and scrolling while standard stretches your battery life. So let me show you how to choose what motion smoothness you can apply on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So first we'll go ahead and bring down the quick panel menu, tap on settings, scroll down and find display. So now from here, you want to find motion smoothness, tap on this, and now you have two options. So adaptive will give you the smoother animation and you get scrolling by automatically adjusting your screen refresh rate to 120 Hertz, while standard will get you more longer battery life by automatically adjusting the screen refresh rate to 60 Hertz. So you can go ahead and choose what you like. Of course, I would recommend choosing adaptive as this will give you 120 Hertz. However, you can go ahead and decide if you want to choose performance when you want it and endurance when you need it. So go ahead and choose what you like and then press apply and then this will apply the motion smoothness on your Samsung S25 Ultra. The third feature is where you can customize your quick panel menu. So stop wasting your time digging through menus with quick panel customization. You most use toggle exactly where you want it. However, you can go ahead and change the theme as well. So let me show you how to do this as an example. So here I'll teach you the basic how to customize this. So if you want to go ahead and customize this, go ahead and bring down the quick panel menu, tap on the pencil icon, and here you can go ahead and move things around. So you can just go ahead and long press on it and this will move it here and there. So you can go ahead and choose what you want to move around. Now the next customization which you can apply on your Samsung S25 Ultra is by changing the theme or the color of your quick panel menu. So to do this, you want to go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, you want to go ahead and open up Theme Park. Now here you want to go ahead and tap on Quick Panel Menu and you can go ahead and tap on Create New and you can go ahead and choose all these different colors which are available. Now after you've chosen all these colors, you can go ahead and tap on Save and you can go ahead and save it and then apply it to your Samsung S25 Ultra. So here I've already created one. So as an example, I'll just go ahead and turn on one of these customization for your quick panel menu. So here, as you can see, we have customized this quick panel menu like this. Another method of customizing your quick panel menu is by going into quick star. So here you want to go ahead and tap on style your own quick panel. And from here you can go ahead and choose from all these recommended themes. 
the recommended theme. So this is already pre-made themes, which you can apply. And then you can go ahead and check it out like this. So you have your own personalization on the quick panel menu and you have instant access to what matters more. No more menu digging required. The fourth feature is where you can remove the battery icon from your home screen. So do you want a clean home screen? One UI 7 lets you remove these extra icons here at the top right. So your home screen setup basically stays minimal. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll be using the Good Lock app. So go ahead and search for Good Lock. Now in the Good Lock app, you want to go ahead and open up the Quick Star module, which is right here. Go ahead and turn this feature on and then tap on visibility of indicator icons. From here, you want to go ahead and find battery, battery icon, which is right here. So if you go ahead and turn this off, you'll see that it disappears. Now, once that's done, press home. And now your battery icon has disappeared. You can go ahead and add widgets to your home screen. And now no more looking to the top right for your battery. So it basically gives you a minimalistic, distraction-free home screen for your Samsung S25 Ultra. The fifth feature is where you have the new weather app icon. So Samsung's new weather app is a glow up, cleaner UI, gorgeous animation, and more accurate real-time info. So this is the old weather app. So let me show you how you can install the new weather app and how to use it. So here I've left a link in the description down below. So you can go ahead and download that APK. It's an updated APK for the weather app. So here I'll go ahead and open up my files. And here I'll go ahead and open up the weather app. Go ahead and install this. So this will basically ask you to update it. Now once updated, press done. And now you wanna go ahead and open up the weather app. So just give it a few minutes. So as you can see, this is a new version of the weather app. And you can go ahead and customize this. So with the new weather app, you have a cleaner UI, it's a gorgeous animation, and you have more accurate real-time info. So now checking the weather now feels like scrolling a mini animated art piece, and it's more reliable too. The sixth feature is where you have the new Wonderland module. So this is where customization goes wild. The Wonderland module from GoodLock lets you build live wallpapers with animation, particle effects, and even touch reaction. However, this app has now been updated. So let me just show you the old version. So with the Wonderland app, this is the Wonderland app, and this is how the old version looks like. Now, let me show you the new version. So the new version can be downloaded from the description down below. I've left a link where you can basically download the new Wonderland module. Go ahead and download it. I have downloaded it to my phone, so I'll go ahead and install this now. Now, once done, I can go ahead and press open. And now, as you can see, there's not much changes in this Wonderland module. However, if you go ahead and tap on create a new lock screen, and then go ahead and tap on creating a new lock screen effect, you can see that the screen has now changed. So instead of four buttons, you have three buttons only. You can go ahead and choose your first image. Then you can go ahead and choose your AOD image. And then you can go ahead and press close. Now next, you can go ahead and choose your effect type. So in the effect type menu, this hasn't changed at all. It's the same thing. Then you can go ahead and choose your effect settings. This as well has not changed as well. It's the same thing as well. Now the fourth button, which was here, was a save button. However, they have now moved it here at the top right. So here, once you're done customizing this, you can press save. You can go and press save again, and then go ahead and apply this. So set this as a lock screen wallpaper. Now we can go ahead and try it out. So if you have AOD turned on, you'll see that wallpaper. As you can see, this is, you can see the wallpaper slightly. And then when we wake it up, we can see the effect. So this basically makes your phone feel truly yours every time you unlock your phone. Again, I have left the link in the description down below. So go ahead and download it and update it. And lastly, the seventh feature is where you can have custom icons for your navigation bar. So are you bored of the same old nav bar where you have the taskbar, home, and the back button? Well, GoodLock's new nav star lets you swap them out for custom icons that matches your vibe. So as you can see, I have added custom icons here. Another example I can go ahead and show you is where I've added cars as my custom icons. Another example, so I've added flowers as well. So you can basically swap them out for custom icons that matches your vibe. 
So let me show you how you can apply this on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So your first step is to open up an internet web browser and you want to find the buttons that will replace this. So I've got three buttons. So let's go ahead and find it. I'll give you one example for home. So I'll just type in home icon. Now let's just say I want to use one of these icons here, home. Okay, AI select. And we'll go ahead and circle it. Now we'll go ahead and long press on it. So as you can see, it has isolated the background. We can go and press download. And then we can go ahead and find the back and the taskbar. So for now, I'll show you how to do it with the home button only. So we'll go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, you're gonna go ahead and open up the Navstar module. Now you're gonna go ahead and turn this feature on, then tap on New Configuration. And then you wanna go ahead and tap on all of these buttons to change it. So for example, I'll be changing the home. So I'll tap on home and I'll tap on this gallery icon, gallery. I'll go ahead and find that picture which I downloaded. And no, I don't wanna crop it. And now that's done. So as you can see, it has replaced a normal home button with the home button which I downloaded. So like this, you can go ahead and replace it with any pictures you like from your gallery. So I'll just go ahead and just choose this for now. And then just for this recent, I'll go ahead and choose a random picture. Okay, now once that's done, I can press save, and I can go ahead and scroll down, and then go ahead and find the configuration which I created, tap on this, and this will be replaced over here. So now I can go press home. So now when you look at it, you'll see my new configuration, which is right here, as my navigation bar. So I've got home, back, and I've got the task manager. So you have total control over your navigation style and a dash of personality on every tab. And that's seven features that can make your Galaxy S25 Ultra even more awesome. And remember, if you're on another Galaxy with one UI 7.0, you can do these too. So which one was your favorite? Drop it in the comment section down below. Hit like if you learned something new and tap subscribe for more Galaxy tips. And don't forget to share this with someone who needs a little phone glow up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.